In previous videos, I showed you how easy it was to localize or change languages in your LTA GUIs. Uh, this uses a language object which simply points to a text file describing what the English strings are and the French strings. Well, what if you have a language that goes from right to left, like Arabic? Well, using a new feature in LT design called text shaping, we're going to show how that automatic processing of the glyph character shaping and uh, ligature connections between those glyphs works really quickly and easily with the new text shaping feature. So, uh, as a quick reminder from the previous video, the language object uses text files, and basically they talk to the same text.io underscore text animations, but they just get sent in new double-coated strings here, artist and song, and artiste and chanson. So, uh, now let's make an Arabic.txt file. Well, uh, the quickest way to do that is to copy a string and paste it into Google here, and get it translated from English to Arabic. Then just put in the coffee buffer and come over here and paste it in place here. All right. And so what I've just done is made the translation for artists. So let's do the same thing for song. All right. And we just paste and copy. We come over here and paste that there. You could remove the colon character or keep it there. Uh, for your translations, it's up to you. But suffice to say, we've got some sample strings here. Now, if I press left arrow and right arrow, it responds normally. But watch what happens as I continue pressing the right arrow key. It actually jumped to the end of the string and progressed through from right to left. That's because Windows knows to do that trick for you. So does the browser here. It's doing that right to left automatic encoding and calculating of the string for you. Well, a lot of embedded C code doesn't take care of that for you automatically, and now LT Design 11.1 does. So let's just show you that by saving this file out, and it's got Unicode, so you want to save it as a Unicode file, Arabic.txt. Looks like I have one, I'll just overwrite it. And then back in LT Design now, instead of pointing this language object to French.txt, let's just change it to Arabic.txt. And then when we go to run mode, we can switch from um, English to Arabic, right? But if you read Arabic, you'll notice right away that that's probably not correct until you turn on text shaping. And now the strings are accurate between how they display in both English and Arabic with the proper uh, glyph connections between each character as well as the right to left processing versus the left to right. So that's all done really just by one checkbox um, on the front end, but in the back end, there's a lot of technology in 11.1 .1 that's helping you with this new text shaping feature. And it does have documentation about it for further details, as well as verbose tool tips throughout the tool, um, as usual in LT Design 11.1. .1.